keep those 2,300 ding-dongs off the road in New Jersey not who needed help from the Department of Transportation. Well, here is one of my not favorite people, but she is funny. Some moments with my dear sister, Megan McDowell. Well, Megan McDowell is in uh, San Antonio uh, giving a speech or moderating or doing something. Mm -hmm. But we were able to locate her uh, sister, Megan, and the uh, police she's joining us now. Megan McDowell. Good morning, Megan. Morning, sir. How are you? <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Sure. Is Neil Cavuto married? Because that boy is F-I-N-E hot. Yes, yes, he is. Uh, He's got that leave it to beavers, lumpy Rutherford done good look about him. Yes. I would do him standing up in a subway toilet, I swear. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't know why my parents think this Fox business gig my sister has such a big deal. They're all like, why can't you be more like your sister? Why can't you be thin and pretty and famous like her? Well, I'm not cut out for reading the jobless claims numbers. I'm an artist. Yeah. I'm a dancer. Sure. I'm on third shift at the Capri Lounge in Wilmington, North Carolina. Yeah. I do a specialty number, a tribute to the Pirates of the Caribbean. I wear an eye patch and two skull and crossbones for pasties because I don't go totally topless because my parents done raised a lady. Yeah. They never supported my dancing career. They're all, why can't you be more like Dagan? She's into wholesome things like NASCAR. Well, duh, she loves cars. <laughs> Hell, she should. She spent most of high school in the back seat of one. I got business news. Yeah. They're going to turn Michael Jackson's life into a Cirque du Soleil show. Sure. Doesn't that seem redundant? <laughs> Little people in weird costumes bouncing around the room talking gibberish. You know what they used to call that at the Neverland Ranch? No. Thursday night. <laughs> hey, can I ask you a question? Sure. Is Charlie Gasparino married? I think he is. Because he is C-U-T-E dreamy. <laughs> like what Squiggy would look like grown up. I'll tell you what, that boy's got a lap dance coming. Yeah. You, uh, you're a lot heavier than your sister looks like. Well, it's a damn camera. Ed's 80 pounds. <laughs> Megan uh, McDowell, Dagan's sister, is here. So. I'm disappointed I'm not going to be co-hosting the 11 o'clock show with Hottie McBusiness. That's the only reason I took this gig, so I could play footsie with Boy Wonder underneath the desk. Yeah. Well, you don't have any business experience. I got business news. Well, I'm sure you do, but I mean... Amazon.com just bought two more uh, online entities. Soap.com and Depends.com. Right. <laughs> well, diapers.com, but, you know, yeah. when you buy your ranch record, you can get your monthly supply. Sure. You talking to me? No. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> that Conor McShane is fine. Oh. He's finer than a frog's hair split four ways. I thought you liked Neil Cavuto, too. I like them all. All right. Together at once. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a healthy appetite, then. Um, for all things. <laughs> we have your five favorite songs. Uh-huh. They are Stroke Me by Billy Squire. Yes, sir. Girls, 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 Motley Crue. Uh-huh. Baby Got Back, Sir Mix-A-Lot. Uh-huh. She's My Cherry Pie Warrant. Yep. And The Men in My Little Girl's Life, Mike Douglas. Yes, sir. I dance to it. Oh, you do? It's a candlelight number. The man in my little girl's life, and I, I, I put matches on, on my on my woman parts. <laughs> on your on your what? On my woman parts. You're a dancer. I'm an exotic dancer. <laughs> I'm on third shift at the Capri Lounge in Wilmington, North Carolina. But I'm Jasmine. Like if you want to come in on Thursdays, two for one lap dances, happy hour. It looks like you weigh 250 pounds. Well, you better have a strong lap then. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is that Stuart Varney married? Yes, he is. Oh, because I want to make me another British invasion. <laughs> Grab your bowler, Ringo. Mama's coming in for another blitz. <laughs> I, I don't think Stuart is. Uh... He's got a tractor. Yes, he does. He could plow my butter bean field any damn day. Uh, no, I don't. I don't. He's slicker than a booger on an ice skating rink. <laughs> I like my men the way I like my coffee. With big penises. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you've got Megan McDowell in there. Yes. 
making some comments about me earlier. Is that correct, honey? I'd like you to take something more than just your hat off, Stuart. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite sure where you're going with that, Megan. <laughs> I'm gonna be on you like a tick on a deer. I just tried to, I tried to explain, uh, Stuart, that you were happily married with uh, six or seven children and was, would not be interested in a romp in the hay with what's her name? So Megan. So. What's her name? <laughs> what's coming up on on Varney Company today? Nothing as interesting as Megan McDowell. I can assure you of that. Well, it's just gonna to fall come down flat, man. Help out on your round table if you'd like. <laughs> yeah, please send her down to this studio. We just welcome her. Hi, I honey. Sit under the table. <laughs> <laughs> Varney. <laughs> no, no, no. Dig and Sister Megan is here. How are you? Morning, sir. What? Um, Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Is that Bernard McGurk married? Yes, he is. Because he is B A L D smoking. <laughs> <laughs> I well, love me a man who looks like Lord Voldemort from the Harry Potter movies. Yeah. Well. <laughs> How do he lose his hair from doing U turns under the sheets? <laughs> I, 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 not, I, don't, I, I like don't. to do a Bernie debriefing, I'll tell you that right now. Or deboxering or whatever. I don't care if he goes commando. I want to get me some of that. Yeah, okay. It's time now for a business report. <laughs> you turn into the Here with that is Megan's sister. What's the matter? Why are you rolling? My sister. My sister. My sister. Digging this, digging that. Why can't you be as pretty as your sister? Why can't you be as smart as your sister? Why can't you be as vivacious as your sister? Oh. F my sister. Because you're carrying 200 extra LBs. That's why. Yeah, oh, no. oh, oh, really? Yeah. I, I wouldn't talk, little Miss Anorexic Mayora. <laughs> Listen, the reason that you're not coming to the host for Thanksgiving is, one, you remember the time that Mama had those new woven coasters? You thought they were jumping. Triscuits, <laughs> and because and you would load the dip on them, and then the next year you showed up because we gave you such a hard time and said you were with child and eating for two, and then lo and behold September rolls around next year and you're still 60 pounds heavier. No baby. Oh yeah, well it's all bazooms, you know that. You're just jealous. Because my mama would take you for your training bra. They said, "What could you do for this?" He said, "Clear cell." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Do you have any you, business news, uh, May, uh, Dagan? Yes, the woman who rests her breasts on the t dinner table at Thanksgiving. That's why. She, that's another reason why she's not invited. <laughs> yeah, Speaking Jonah's trying to carve them. <laughs> You ever met uh, Dagan's sister, Megan? Well, you know, I thought it was a joke when I first saw her. I mean, about, what, about a month ago? I thought it was Neil Cavuto dressed up, you know? <laughs> oh. But um, but now I'm buying into it. You know, I actually think it is her sister. Yeah. You realize it is Rob, it right? Rob. Then I thought it was Rob, you know? But I said, you know, Rob ain't that fat. Oh. Jen? Fred? Yes. Can I ask yeah, you a question? Yeah, what you want, honey? Are you married? <laughs> married? No, of course Cause, not. Because you are an STUD cutie pie. Hey, you know what I'd like to do, baby? What? I want to get you stuck in the door of my trailer and try to push you out for two days. <laughs> <laughs> you can grease me up with Crisco and make it go oh, easier man, there, boy. Yeah. Just put some grease on it and just tell the old boy try to shove you out. <laughs> <laughs> I would do things to you that would make a grown man go blind. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing makes me laugh more than my sister, Megan McDowell. Oh, God help her. God help all of us, everybody. Oh, Dr. Keith Alblow, where are we? What day is it? Dr. Keith Alblow is coming up. He is live with us right here on Obviously in the Morning.